In today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to add a glow effect to your text in Adobe Premiere. And at the end, I'll show you how to apply it to multiple captions at the same time. So, this is gonna be a very quick video. To start off, go to the effects panel and search for an effect called Alpha Glow. I already have a text layer chilling on my timeline, so I'll drag the Alpha Glow onto it. But once you've done that, go to the effect controls panel and under the alpha glow section, you can increase the glow value to something like 50 and the brightness to something like 200. The more you increase these two values, the more glow you're gonna have. You can set a specific color for your effect and add a red color for example. You can also add two colors at the same time by checking the setting that says use and color and then add a secondary tint. To add a shadow to your glow effect, duplicate your layer by holding alt and drag it upwards. Okay, now go over to the effects panel Search for Gaussian Blur and add it to your bottom layer. The trick is to increase the blurriness to 1000 and maybe increase the glow slightly to 100 for this layer. You can then resize this glowy shadow with the scale setting. Now don't click off just yet as I will show you how to quickly apply this effect onto multiple text layers at once very very easily. First off while holding control or command select the vector motion, the Gaussian Blur and the alpha glow settings and right click them. Click on save preset and name this preset glow bottom layer or something like that. Click OK. Now select the top layer and right click the alpha glow. Name this glow top layer and click OK. Much, much, much later. Once you've created multiple captions or text layers, all you have to do to apply this effect is to select your captions, hold Alt or Option and drag them upwards. In the effects panel, search for the glow bottom layer preset you just saved. Select the bottom layer and drag this preset onto them. Now search for the glow top layer preset and same thing as always select the top layers and drag this preset onto them. And that's how you do it, please like and subscribe if you found this very helpful and feel free to watch this next tutorial. Goodbye.